Good morning Reefers, today we're going to do an unboxing setup and a bit of a review of the Neptune Dose. Hey guys, Devin with Reef Dudes. Hope you guys are all doing fabulous this morning. I just picked myself up a second dose, so pretty excited. Now I've actually been running these, one of these for over a year now, so I can already give you guys a pretty solid review on it. But I've never really done an unboxing or kind of a how-to setup of it, so let's do that today. Now, one of the biggest differences with the dose compared to other, other pumps um, is actually the motors themselves. So most dosing pumps, they're just a simple little motor and it uses either PWM signal or to spin slower to control how much it doses. So the dose actually uses a giant stepper motor and what that does is it gives it insane accuracy. So you can do like down to as low as 0.1 mils up to I believe it's 250 mils a minute. So you can do from your tiniest trace element dosing with it all the way up to automating your water changes. So very versatile pump. Now the only one little bit of a downfall to it is you can't just buy the dose on its own. It's only going to work with an Apex. So you have to already have an Apex to be able to use a dose. So but if you already have an Apex, it's a pretty awesome option. So let's get into a little bit of an unboxing. So in here we have our little graduated cylinder. It's for calibrating the unit. Got our power plug. Got our power brick. And of course, the dose itself. And what else we got here? We got some tubing. And a getting started guide, which will link you to a website and kind of give you a bit of a how-to to get things rolling. And we got a USB-A cable, which is their one link, or sorry, not one link, but their Aquabus cable. Um, so here's the dose itself. As you can see, it's fairly substantial. It does have a lot of heft and weight to it, and that is because of the big stepper motors inside. And those pumps are what's going to give you that accuracy. It's going to let you go down to that 0 0.1 if you want to use it for trace elements, your Triton or whatnot. If you're just running the uh, dosing pump just to do your calcium alkalinity in bulk, um, as for you don't necessarily care with the accuracy as much. If it's a mil off and you're dosing 50 mils a day, it's not going to be detrimental to your tank, right? If you're doing trace elements, you're doing lots of small things then that precision really does help. Or if you have a nano tank, for instance, I mean, being able to dose, you know, that half a mil. Vodka dosing is another prime thing. If you're doing that carbon dosing where you're only doing like 0.5 mils a day, this is gonna shine. Now, the other big thing is, as I mentioned before, you have to have an apex in order to use this. Now, if you have an apex, one huge thing is this is extremely easy to program. So we'll get to that in a few. So let's, first we gotta mount this on the tank. Now, some of you guys know, I have a steel stand, and mounting to that can be a bit of a pain. You don't really want to be drilling holes in your stand to mount stuff, especially with shavings around your sump. So, I have an absolutely brilliant idea that I've used in the past for this, and it's using these magnets. So these are actually made for kind of a tool holder that you'd screw to the wall in your workshop. However, they do a fabulous job of mounting the dose. My, my previous one is mounted one of these. If you look on the back, there's a bunch of magnets and there's little holes in the middle. And conveniently, those holes line up pretty much perfectly with the screw holes on the dose. But in my last one, I poked in a drywall, two drywall plugs and used that to put two screws into it. So that secured the screws to this, and then I punched out the two little plastic tabs in the back, and that allowed me a magnetic hanger for the dose. So it worked out really well, so I just picked up another one of these little magnet bars. Uh, Titan Professionals. I bought it at Princess Auto. May or may not be on Amazon. If they are, I'll drop a link below. And so yeah, let's get this baby mounted and get it on the tank. And I'll show you guys how to set it up and program it. So when you look at the back, these two grooves literally line up like basically perfectly with those little cutouts. So we're gonna push in those knockouts and that's where the screws are gonna go. Um, so now in here, in order to put a screw through this, I found the best way to do is using drywall plugs. Now we'll have to trim them down a bit, but I'll poke a little hole just so we know exactly where we're going. And because that's a rectangle hole and these are flat, obviously we gotta do something to trim it a bit. So what I've done is just use kind of side cutters and just trim off one of the sides. Do that, so should make it more or less fit into this rectangle hole. Once we got her pretty close. We'll give her a couple smacks. Now we've got 
to cut the bottom obviously, but now we got a nice screw hole into a magnet. So a super easy way to do it. There we go, got those out. And this should slide just perfectly in the holes. There you go, look at that. We got ourselves a magnetic dose mount. And we'll pop the second one up. Tuck it up as high as I can. Um, so yeah, magnets, great way to mount anything to a steel stand. Now, if, as you can see on the original one, I have the one cable, and that's the one link cable. So if you have the 2016 Apex, you can plug in this one cable into the power bar, and it's gonna transfer your power and your data all over that one wire. Um, since I forgot to pick up one of those, we'll just have to use the power supply, so this needs another power brick, and the USB-A, aka Aquabus cable. And so we'll do that just to link the two for now. Alright, so you can see it lit up. Now when we log into Fusion, it should see the new doser. But the pumps aren't actually going to work until we plug in the power supply, so let's get to that. Now let's going to do a quick test to make sure both of the pump heads work. Yep. Yep, so both heads work, so we're good there. So now we got the doser set up. Uh, I'm going to use two of my DIY Voss dosing water bottles for now. Uh, if you haven't seen these, I'll post a link at the end of this video to check it out for DIY. Super classy, sleek, easy to build containers. Uh, so I'm going to do one full of aqua power and the other full of magnesium. Magnesium is one of those ones that you don't normally have to dose that often but it adds up after a while, so it's nice to just automate it all. Um, so the first one, just checking which way the pump spin. So it's spinning this way, so that will be our output. And this one, it's gonna roughly measure how much tubing I need. And I always like to use RODI tubing for my dosing lines. I find it's, it's solid, you don't really have to worry about it leaking or kinking, and you can get some cool colors with it, which makes it kinda nice. So to do this, we screw off the end of this, slide this over your tubing. Now with the dosing line, it's a pretty tight fit, but let me get that. We push it onto this little nipple here, and then we slide this collar up and we screw it in. This compression fits it on. I really do like these connectors because they're very minimal chance of it ever leaking because it does compress it on pretty well. All right, so one's on, and we'll do the next one. Now when it comes to the dosing lines that go into the containers, um, with inside of these is an O-ring, so you want to make sure you have a nice, fairly perfect cut going inside of these. So one of the first steps is to kind of purge your lines, make sure they're full of liquid. So I'm going to take the first line, and this is hooked up to my magnesium, and just hold down the button, and I'm going to do this until liquid starts flowing through the dosing line, so we know all the air bubbles are out. Okay, so we've got a nice steady little drip of magnesium coming through. So we know we're good there. As we open our Apex Fusion app, at the top there we see new tiles. So I'm going to click on that new tile and we should see our dosing heads in there. So we got dose 7 and dose 2, so I'm just going to drag these down. So 7.1 and 7.2. Okay, now I'm going to relock that. Now at the top, so that it shows how much liquid is being dosed from each one. To our dashboard, we're going to click the tasks icon, and we're going to look for dose calibration. So calibrate our dose pumps. Um, it says you can do it with tap water. I prefer to do it with whatever solution I'm dosing, just because it'll be a little more accurate since you're actually calibrating it to liquid that's flowing through it. And we're going to make sure we select the seventh one. Uh, sounds good. Ensure the module's connected. The module firmware is up to date. So it wants us to do a firmware update first. So let's start with that. Okay, so under modules, you can see it says old, which means our firmware is out of date. So I'm going to click on that and wait for it to load. There we go. Okay, so our dose meeting system, firmware old, so action. I'm going to go to update software. And at the top, we hit that little cloud with the up arrow, and this should update the firmware.
All right, so update complete. Okay, so now we clicked on our task, we're ready to calibrate the dose. Now to do that, we're open our thing. Obviously one end needs to be in liquid, so we're gonna click next. Make sure you select the right one. So I select the second one since it's my new dose. And I'm gonna hold the tube over our graduated cylinder. Now we're gonna calibrate. And it should kick on the first pump. And once it's done filling, we're gonna tell it how much liquid is in the cylinder. So right now, this is gonna be dosing my aqua power and magnesium. Um, eventually down the road, I'm thinking I might set it up to do automatic water changes once I actually move the tank and have a drain that's close by. So as you can see, I mean, it's not, it's a little bit on the latter side for doing larger volumes, especially if you're doing a water change. So ideally you'd want the pump somewhere that's in another room or out of the place. When you're just using it for daily dosing, when you break it up and only does tiny doses, it's not an issue at all. It's, it's very quiet. It's only a bit louder when you're doing kind of the longer continuous running modes. All right, so it dosed it. Now it wants to know how much it dosed and it's actually pretty much right on the money. I'd say it's about 39.8, just shy of 40 mils. So that's pretty good calibration right out of the box. I'm gonna say 39.8, it's just a hair underneath. So that's basically our calibration process. Repeat for it to fill that 40 mils, but the first pump was within like 0.1 of a mil and the next one was like 0.9 of a mil. So they're, they're pretty good for straight out of the factory. Um, for a couple of things, for kind of the quick task, it was kind of Neptune's way of making it really easy to set up certain things. So the first one in here for the dose, so we can do automatic water changes. So this one, you can have your sump or your new seat water and a drain or container. And you basically next, 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 and you can walk it through and you just say which one is taking it from your tank or which one's your fresh water. And very easy process to set up. So which one's adding, which one's taking it up. I'm not gonna do it since I don't wanna dose too much of my stuff in, but for automatic water changes, super duper simple. Uh, now the other one they have, what I'm actually gonna use is the dose additive. So. Where's your containers, where they are, so the left side, next. So I'm gonna rename this one to dose. Left one was magnesium. Uh, we'll start in end time and how much you want to dose. So we're gonna start out with say four mils a day, or five mils a day magnesium. Now it'll probably have to be a little higher than this, but we'll start there and see where we're at. So five mils a day, um, basically if we want to Put it at a certain time we can say that otherwise between basically throughout the 24 hours and send so that one is calibrated now the other one for 72 this one is going to be for our aqua power so the other way to calibrate this is let me just go back and show you again so the first way to do it was through a task uh, the second way if i just go on my tab i'm gonna slide off that little cover and let's click the little gear icon and it's going to take me to that page. Um, so this one, how many mils you want to do over that 24 hour period. So if I wanted multiple periods, I can say modify. I could tone this down to a lower number if I only want to dose it, say from noon to three. So if you want to stagger different things and dose at different times, you can do that. Otherwise, if you don't really care too much, then you can just add them all in here. Now I'm going to start with 3.5 mils of aqua power a day. Okay, at the top, now we just click our little cloud up arrow and programmed. There you go, so super easy. One of my favorite things about the Neptune Dose is how easy it is to program. They did a fabulous job on that one. Now if we scroll down, I can show you my other dose. If you, so we can see I'm dosing 68 mils of calcium a day and 52 mils of alkalinity. Now if I go into the one of the charts for this, can actually see it's dosing 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of a mil. And that's happening, what do we got? So 3907, 56. So every 15 to 20 minutes is dosing 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 of a mil. So it keeps your tank super stable because you're doing all these micro doses throughout the day rather than just dumping in, you know, 20, 30 mils all at once. So I do really like it. It's so easy to program that per day. Uh, on my Jabo doser, I mean, for a hundred bucks, a great doser, but you got to go in and program every single dose which is a pain, especially if you want to change it. Um, so Neptune did a fabulous job on making it really easy to program that, especially when you want to break up your dose. And that's kind of one of the nicest things for this. Hopefully that's a good overview of the Neptune dose. I've been running my other one for the last year, so I finally cashed in some of my LFS credit and picked up a second one. 
So kind of happy to get another one in there. The match looks good and I can do all kinds of stuff. If I want to do carbon dosing or any type of trace elements down the road, they're ultra precise, which is awesome. Um, you're going to have that big sturdy stepper motor versus just your normal little motor. So long term, great reliability. All right, guys, as always, if you got any questions on this, let me know in the comments below. If you have a product you want me to dig into or you have a question you want me to answer on the air, reefuse.com slash ask. Otherwise, guys, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. So what do you guys think of the new shirt? This is by far my most favorite shirt at the moment. Absolutely love it. Cracks me up. Now, I'm going to start doing like a monthly shirt design. I have a ton of ideas in mind, and I think it's kind of fun to show off my inner reef geek. So if you guys are passionate, you love this hobby, and want to show everyone you know, be sure to check out reefdudes.com shop to pick up your shirt today. Alright guys, I'll catch you on the next video.